Joni B, what is your humble opinion on health care? Health care. Well, now, isn't that a, a bucket of worms? Really, I don't care. Okay, so I want to start out by saying that not all healthcare professionals are the same. You have the good and you have the bad. Um, you hear a lot of things about healthcare. Here is my humble opinion on it. I don't think that we are focused on the patients. I think we're focused on money because the first thing it is, is your insurance. Well, what is insurance? That is money. The bigger, the better insurance you have. Oh yeah. Is that say what kind of care you're going to get? Um, well, in some cases, I think so. Um, because if you don't have insurance, you don't get care. So I think that it's all about the money. Again, I'm not saying that every single person in the healthcare profession is about money, but it is a big, it's a big thing. Um, I work for a hospital and when those pharmaceutical reps came in, they wanted the hospital to buy their product. So they did everything that they could to entice. So that was treats, it was dinners, it was lunches. So they were kind of building a relationship, but for a, with a motive, um, which again would make them money. So to tell the doctor, oh, hey, you can use our product and then give them incentives. And I know with some kind of new drugs and stuff, doctors, offices, surgeons, doctors, they're given an incentive to use a company's product, which usually means some kind of kickback, um, some kind of monetary um, incentive for them. So is it always the best for the patient? What do you think? I think no. So again, money plays a big a big part. So you go back to years and years and years ago, like our, probably our great grandparents, you know, there was one little doctor who, oh, what? He came to your house? You're too sick? But he had relationship with the people. They weren't just a patient. They were his neighbor. They were a community in his community or her community. So they had a, a bond, a relationship. They had a a connection which then in turn gave them a purpose to find out what was wrong how to care for them and I don't think that should have changed I mean times have changed um, equipment things like that have cost more money so you can't give a pig for a for a appointment now you have to actually have some cash or insurance to pay because there are expenses I understand that there are expenses so you know we can't go back the same but I don't think that relationship and the connection should have changed. Um, now it's just to come in, you spend more time with the nurse than you do with the doctor. And when you're with the doctor, it's just really very vague. Um, and I think that if, again, relationship connection was formed with a patient, we would learn a whole lot more um, instead of just prescribing them a pill for the symptom maybe they really don't need a pill for the symptom. Um, maybe something else is wrong. Um, I'll use myself in a, as an example. When my father died, I just, I did not feel good. I did not, yeah, I didn't want to move. I didn't want to go anywhere. You know, it was just that, uh, and I did, I felt sick. And, um, now, this person I paid a lot of money to, or my insurance did, but the point was they didn't prescribe me a drug, but they let me know that I wasn't crazy and maybe I wasn't sick. I was just grieving. And that opened my eyes to a lot of things because my grieving was causing me to be sick. So maybe... It's not something that's actually physical, but you know, that mental state. And I know our country right now with this crazy pandemic, we are full of fear. We're full, feel, 
full of anxiety. What's going on? What's going to happen? And it's really making us sick. And we're going to go to the doctor and in most cases, you're going to get a pill to either curb um, a pain or something. Now, I do believe that you might need to be on something that will help you, and that's okay. Hey, I'll be the first to say, it's okay, because uh, maybe you just need that to help you get through the situation and to cope. But again, that's helping, and they don't keep giving me different things or running tests on me. Um, and again, that relationship goes to people who have serious problems, like my mom. She was diabetic, she was on dialysis, and probably the list continues to go on and on and on. And she has a file, and oh, that's connected to the hospital file because her doctor's office, if she goes to the emergency room, which she did a lot, um, they had that information. So she went, I have something wrong with me. Oh, I, you have shingles. So they gave her a medication and it was a doctor who had access to her files. Obviously he didn't use those files, but the one he didn't even need, the type of medicine she should, took, she shouldn't have taken because she was old. Elderly people shouldn't have been taking that. And the next one was if they were on dialysis. Okay, guess what the side effect? It could kill them if they got this drug. Guess what happened to her? She died. So, again, too quick. Let's not, let's not check the, the file. The, my mom couldn't talk. My mom was in a state of unconscious, alive but unconscious. Um, but you have a file, right? You have that in your computer. Look at it. Number one, did you even really look at her because she was old? Did you not see that? And that was number one on that drug. I didn't even go to medical school and uh, I read that. Number one, do not give to elderly people. Number two, if the patient's on dialysis or is diabetic, don't give it to them. Wow. Okay. But, so, no mom. Dad now grieving. He gets sick. Oh, yeah, it's probably just your diabetes. So, again, same doctor they'd been seeing for years and years and years. Why didn't you notice? Why, why not spend a little bit more time with them instead of in and out? Um, ask more questions. A year later. Let's see, mom died in May. In the following August, he was diagnosed with cancer. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine. Hi. <laughs> Going down. Going down. Tell the people how your soup is. Yep. <laughs> what that, are you doing? I tell you what. That goes on Facebook. Why, <laughs> is, why does everything have to be so hard? How are you feeling? But he had been sick since December. Yeah, pretty rough stuff. So now no mom, no dad. I don't hate, I'm, I'm angry, um, but I'm angry at the system because I think as a system, we should care about people. We should make that connection with them. We shouldn't be so quick to say, oh, yeah, let's just give you a pill. And another thing, oh, they're old anyway. Is that really fair that they're old anyway to just let's pacify the problem till they just die? Um, that person is somebody's mom, dad, brother, uncle, aunt. Um, 
So you gotta care about people. And I know One Health Plan, <clears throat> the one that everybody, it's gonna be a, everybody in the country has to have this health care plan. Thank you, Obama. Um, when you look at it, it really did not help the elderly. Did it have benefits for maybe other people? Maybe that people that didn't have insurance, was it a way for them to get insurance? Yes. But when you really looked at it, people who had existing health issues, no, it didn't help them. I, I remember all the time, you know, things that my, my parents had to have drugs for. I mean, the, far, the pharmacy bill was crazy. Well, why aren't we helping them? Why aren't we alleviating some of their financial issues? Um, they were our strength when we were younger. Well, why aren't we taking care of them now? Why are we taking care of, we should take care of everyone and everyone should be just as important. Maybe that's how I should put it. So the person who maybe for whatever reason, they make the choice not to work, but to do of other things and need insurance for themselves and other offsprings or whatever, um, why can't they get the same care as someone who put in 20 plus years working, contributing to society other than taking from society? I think we need to rethink that. Um, if you wanted to reevaluate a plan, why shouldn't everybody just pay the same thing, right? Um, we have now the Again, the government should pay for our health care. I don't necessarily know if that's a positive thing, but if we looked at it across the board that every doctor, an office visit should be no more than, oh, I'll give them on the high side, $100. That's it. So then your insurance is going to pay 80% of that and the person's going to pay 20%. Across the board. You know, if everybody was on that fixed thing, everybody would be equal. Um, yeah, and again, building relationships, caring about people, not what I can get out of it. What is my outcome? Um, how much money am I gonna make? How much notoriety am I gonna get? Because there's another thing, I mean, there's plastic surgeons all over, like the plastic surgeon who helped me after my double mastectomy and did a um, tram reconstruction. Amazing. I felt like an amazing new woman. But he's not on TV. He's not um, a plastic surgeon to the stars. But in my opinion, I'm just as important as a star. I had a, a need and he helped me be better. Um, so come on people, we're really all the same. You're no better than me. I'm no better than you. We all have needs. So maybe if that was the factor, instead of money, just caring about people, maybe our healthcare system might be a little bit better. Maybe we would actually be a healthier nation, a healthier world, um, just healthier people. That'd be a good thing. So that's my opinion. That's been Joni B's humble opinion. God bless America.